So we got two pipes from cubicminiwoodstoves.com and they are double wall pipes. I also want to mention to make sure you anchor down the stove before you start setting up the pipes so when you drive with the truck it doesn't just fall or lean in any direction. The parts after these two pipes were purchased from the website called tinywoodstove.com and well, one of the reasons because the other website that we bought the, the Grizzly is back order. They have a huge back order so the weight is just uh, unbelievable. But uh, this other side has an installation kit also that works. Okay, this beautiful chrome pipe on the top, what you see, is a double wall insulated pipe. And uh, I'm going to mark it because that's the one, that's the size, it's a 5 inch thick pipe. I need to uh, cut a 5 inch hole on the ceiling. And now this small black pipe that I'm holding is called the single to double adapter. It's connecting the double wall pipes with a single wall pipe. If I remember correct, I'm gonna do a computer simulation to make sure I call these parts the right name. This is double wall too, but uh, it converges this way. Okay. Oh my god, it's so much nicer. Finally, and uh, this would still not go in there. This next pipe is a single wall pipe but it's called a telescoping pipe but uh, this is why we needed the adapter because that is only a single wall and then so this is how it's going to be assembled but now i have to take it apart uh, so i can access and drill the hole first and of course the cement uh, gasket is going to be applied luckily it slides right that's called the interior trim plate and it's a pair something like this of plates and i just want to point out that this part is this insulated with this is gonna be the top okay so what you see is the roof uh, cap uh, they also call it the driving cap that I'm taking off uh, this is protecting uh, the the chimney from the rain and I slide it into the roof vent that's a small part under it it's called the roof vent I'm gonna have to connect these two with a double yeah. wall clamp will be connected which I'm showing there that's this. the double wall clamp how about that can be tightened with a screwdriver and tightened with this bolt Now this is called the silicon pipe boot and I heard they also call this a jack and I had to cut out that part 
this actually made for three or four inch uh, exit but uh, they didn't have any for five so I had to uh, increase that that hole to five inch I tried it it goes out nice and this is the protector rain uh, sliding on the edge of the the pipe inside the house so I'm gonna have to drill the roof out slash eight diameter with the seven and an eighth uh, of an inch drill which of course I'm gonna use jigsaw to make it nice to get some glasses for eye protection. outside and make a drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remove this. Remove some of this jacks. Um, let's make sure it's 
kind of in the middle. And yep. So I have to remove. So I'm gonna cut out that part. This is okay. So this is done. The stove and gasket cement came from that uh, website tinywoodstove.com It comes in an installation kit for RVs and tiny houses But you can also order it separately I actually ordered it separately because I didn't order everything that was included in the installation kit uh, I didn't need anything, I already had uh, some parts available And liked also the, the boot, the, the pipe boot uh, I got from uh, uh, a lumber yard called Ghana and if you ask me why it's a lot cheaper uh, the parts I was able to get uh, locally is much cheaper so this is the cement gasket is this black clayish material that it was very hard to squeeze out and it dries fast but you can wipe it out with a wet cloth uh, the excess you can clean it out with a wet cloth or you can also rub it off Okay, so now this part is up. Unfortunately, I had to remove the solar panel, but it could have been worse because it's better to get this under. So Yep, so the water can flow on the top of this. There we go. I will have to apply. So here I am applying just regular silicone uh, to the bottom of that. That doesn't need to be uh, heat resistant. But later, the red uh, cream is going to be applied right on the boot, on the uh, black rubber part uh, of the boot. And because that needs to be heat resistant and that's why it's red. barrier sealant to the rubber I have to apologize because you cannot see here unfortunately it's out of the frame when I was applying uh, that red uh, heat resistant silicone uh, to the black part of the that rubber part of the boot and well obviously it's heat resistant because the, the, the chimney pie is gonna heat up so that's gonna seal uh, uh, the rain out the house and make sure it doesn't slide off uh, uh, slide on the wall inside the house okay now it's important as you see to lift up the plate and put that roof sheet uh, the aluminum sheet above it 
because that's the higher part of the roof so the rain uh, is going to go on the top of that plate instead of under that's all that's very important when you do like roof or shingles that uh, the higher parts of the roof uh, can drip on the lower parts and the rain doesn't go under that aluminum plate actually the boot has a steel plate And this is uh, polishing, cleaning off the heat resistant red clay and now um, mounting back the solar panel that I had to take off in, uh, temporarily so I can layer the, the sh aluminum shingles or what well not, it's, it's actually an aluminum sheet properly so the water goes in the right direction and not under the steel plate And here I'm just anchoring the steel plate with the roofing screw, self drilling roofing screws uh, with a little bit of rubber, uh, you know, under to seal. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, thumbs up and sign up if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.